Hello everybody, we're here today at Milliard Studio Gallery with Jenny McKenzie, artist. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for coming. How did you come to get to this place now? Where did you start? Well, um, well everybody's journey with art starts at school, doesn't it? Um, and I did, I enjoyed art at school and I took, um, I did pottery actually as a GCSE. And then I didn't know nothing with it. I didn't do any more art. I wanted to be a geologist. Ultimately, I became a physiotherapist because my career advisor thought I couldn't be one. And so <laughs> I was, she laid down the gauntlet of the challenge and said, you know, I would try something more, less academically demanding. And that was it, really. I was going to be a physiotherapist, come what may. So that was, it, it, you know, that says a lot about me, really, and being challenged and finding you know, finding that place in life where you don't want to feel n not good enough or not adequate enough to do something. I feel very strongly that when you put your mind to it, you can do what you can do. You can, you can achieve all sorts of things if you really put your mind to it. And I learned an awful lot. I did a master's degree um, in, in research and management and became a hospital director and um, ultimately, I decided through not quite being burnt out, but to the point where I needed some, something else. Um, and uh, I decide, we decided, Brian and I decided, that we would, uh, I would leave work. Brian had already retired early. And we went and bought a property in France and went to live in France. Oh my God, that's quite so a So I left dramatic. the NHS wow. and went, and we bought this property with um, a lovely farmhouse, um, oh. quite a lot of land, and it had a, a barn that had been partially converted into holiday cottages and a derelict barn. We spent the first year getting two of the cottages ready for letting, for holiday, putting a swimming pool. So my, my art journey really started from, from the business of having holiday cottages and uh, we decided to do some art holidays. And initially I was the bus driver or the cook or both. Right. Um, and I just organised a sort of places to go, things to see and the artists loved it. And um, eventually I decided that I might give it a go. It sort of went on from there. And in, in France, I joined a, um, well, it was called the Vendredi Club. It was a Friday, and we just used to meet up. And it was mainly craft and uh, textiles and weaving and knitting. And, and it was mainly women. It wasn't uh, confined to women, but it was mainly women. Um, and I sort of joined the, that group and set up within it a little painting group. Um, and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger and we had quite a few members in the end. Let's talk a little bit more about how you work. I have a sort of process of working which starts with going sketching. So these are some of my sketchbooks um, and I sketch in watercolour. I don't draw, I just sketch with, with watercolour. Um, I use a little palette that I carry around with me, a sketchbook, and uh, I use a water brush and it's not nothing posh or sophisticated, it's just a pen that's full of water and a, a brush that's full of water, should I say. And then I use that when I'm out and about to, to paint. Essentially is a piece of tissue because to change your colour you just have to dab a bit of water out of your of water brush and carry on painting. So that ends up like that and these take me about five, ten minutes at the most. And when I get back home I put some marks on it so I use Indian ink and a kebab stick <laughs> and use that to make marks right. to give it the, the um, image some definition. So, so does this mean most of your work is based on, on Derbyshire in the local area? Not just Derbyshire um, but I do I only paint things that I've experienced myself so I've got a couple of sketchbooks which are Cornwall I've got one from Bar when I went to Barcelona this November. There's Devon. Um, there's uh, one of Norfolk. Um, in 2019, we went off to Norway on a on a 
a postal ship and uh, you know it was so beautiful 72 sketches later <laughs> I was and I had such a body of work that came from that um, and had a, a sing, an exhibition called the Arctic oh, wow. colors of the Arctic this is a, a, a little bit abstracted in that it's called a Nordic journey and um, turns out I'm 60% Scandinavian when I had my DNA looked at. So I'm a Viking really. And then this is another Norway one which is the, the northern lights over the waterfront at Bergen um, and the reflected buildings and the reflected sky. How do we go from the sketch to the finished piece of art? Um, well, I, I sketch a lot, so not everything that I sketch does it turn into a finished piece. And sometimes I'm sketching a few times before I, I feel like I'm going to make it into a bigger piece. Sometimes it's pretty obvious to me how I feel about it, how impressive it is, how the sketch has gone, that I, I know it's going to end up as a bigger piece. So, uh, for example, this is a sketch of the Lady Bower Reservoir, the Derwent Bridge, at sunset, um, where this, the water was reflecting the sky, and uh, it was pretty, pretty impressive. There was some snow on the, on the hills, it's a winter scene, um, but the colours were fantastic. Beautiful. So I sketched it a couple of times. So from the sketches, uh, back here in the studio, I had a go at one um, I want, these are in landscape format, but I wanted to make it in a square format just because I like the quirky contemporary look of it and it's not what everybody does, so I like to do it. And so I did it in small scale and then I used the techniques that I use with watercolour collage and ink to produce a bigger piece that is here. Um, I use 600 oh, wow. gram paper. It's fabulous. It just it just sings out at you. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Well, I, I'm liking it a, a lot more um, than I thought I would because I, it's rather pink. But when I look at the photographs, it was pink. So I'm I'm happy with that now. Um, I like some of the trees and how wintry they look. The glimpses of the snow coming through, but. One of the techniques, this is me using my favourite technique, which is watercolour collage and ink. So I tear watercolour paper and stick it on. Oh, wow, I didn't realise that that was I a really, collage as well. I really like the oh. way the edge of the paper takes the paint differently to the surface of the paper. So that's um, how I get from sketch to a sort of trial to a finished piece. And that's okay. ready to go to the framers. So apart from the places you visit, which we've, we've talked about, where else do you find your inspiration? This is my, my, what I call my scrapbook. It's called Creative Drawing, but it's just basically things that I experiment with and techniques. Um, so here I've used some wax pastel um, as a resist, along with candle wax, different sorts of colours, watercolour, um, and I make myself some notes about the different techniques that I'm using, sort of compositional notes, colour notes, um, different things that I've tried creating shadow lines, um, and about putting composition together, figure drawing, things that have inspired me at um, Chatsworth House. I'm just, I just have to interrupt. I'm just so struck by the colour. You have such a great sense of colour. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. It, it is one of my things that I enjoy most is colour. And these are sort of abstracted colours of Cornwall. So, um, oh, beautiful. sort of trying to get my colour palette together. This is. I did this before I did work for the Colours of Cornwall exhibition that I did. Working with these scrapbooks are what a part of the way in which I develop my ideas and my thinking and um, and it's also very helpful to, to keep it in this form so that I can reflect on it because it's not all an instant thing I often look at this book and think why have I not developed that or perhaps I should look at that again or so these these 
three pictures here are taken from this this picture here, which is uh, Lathkildale. So these are my sort of interpretations, and these are I learnt this technique, which is glazing watercolour with gum arabic, which is gum arabic is the carrier medium for watercolour, um, and you don't, don't normally varnish your watercolour, but with gum arabic you can, and it restores the the brightness and colour. So I quite like that technique. I don't use it a lot, but this is one of my favourite um, drawings. I actually stuck the original in this book, so I've never, this is the original, but this is my interpretation of um, Hall Lee's Park Gardens in Matlock. And I just love it because I love the colours. I love how the ink works with the colour. And it, it sort of just, just makes me think of Ryber Castle on the hill and the fountain. And uh, so that just sums me up really, is that I've turned that into that. And I just love it. Thanks Jenny, let's have a quick tour of your studio. You can tell us about some of the work that's here. Yeah. Most of the paintings at this point in time are mine, the ones that are on the walls, um, and all of them have got a story because that's how I work. Um, this one is called Searching and it's to do with the, me finding, an, uh, finding a way of producing abstract work. And I would like to do more abstract, but it's hard. It's, it's um, because I've trained myself to um, see things and interpret them and produce an abstracted form of them, but it's not abstracted entirely. When I'm doing abstract work, I'm always trying to make it look like something, and that is not what you do in abstract work. But this is the nearest I've come to it. This is um, inspired by a boat race that was in Marizion Bay when I was on holiday in Cornwall, our first unlock holiday. We went in a cottage in Cornwall. We didn't go sightseeing and to museums and things like that. We just walked coastal paths and painted. So this one is um, inspired by the Lincoln Cathedral using a, some experimental techniques where I use candle wax, um, not hot wax, just using a candle to protect pieces of the paper and then putting watercolours over the top. And of course, the wax resists the water and so only some of the paper takes the colour. That's beautiful. Um, and then I've used 24 karat gold leaf. These three paintings here, they're the same picture. I drew, I actually sketched it three times and then painted it different colour ways. And it's really illustration of how colour can change a painting just by the choices that you make. So this one here, this quirky one, it's got musical notes on it. It's got some uh, watercolour collage that I've machined with the sewing machine because I like the way that when you paint over the machining um, the, the, it takes the colour differently to the paper. Sometimes I put cotton thread in it and sometimes I just use the holes of the sewing machine. So I like the fact that this is a picture of a tiny chair, a great big jug. And then in the picture is a picture of the picture and in the picture is a picture of the picture. Oh, wow. I just love it. That's brilliant. It's a bit of a tour of my, my, my studio. It's been an absolute pleasure, Jenny. Thank you so much for inviting me. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay.